I'm Ron Smith, NDSU Extension Horticulturist. In our continuation of fall preparation going into the winter, we want to talk about lawns today and the final treatment of the lawn for uh, getting it ready for the winter and obviously for next spring. And one of the things we want to do is we want to lower the mowing height of our lawnmower over what we've been mowing all season long. Ideally, we should have been mowing at about three inches in height. That higher mowing height provides for uh, better root system, more photosynthetic leaf area there to carry on photosynthesis, build stronger root systems, stronger uh, crowns, rhizomes, etc. a healthier overall turf. Well, now at the end of October here, roughly from the middle of October to the end of October is a good time to do this final mowing. So we want to drop the mower a good inch or so, a couple of notches on the mower blade, on the mower uh, wheels, and then this time, if Normally we don't bag the, more, uh, the uh, clippings, but this time of the year we want to go ahead and bag it because by bagging the clippings we're removing a food source from the pathogens uh, that are going to be harbored in our, in our soils. They're there all the time. All we're doing is giving them the right opportunity to go ahead and proliferate if we leave this, this much food source behind. That's pink snow mold and gray snow mold. So if we can go ahead and remove the grass clippings at the time of this mowing, uh, we'll have fewer incidences of snow mold the following spring. So. Let's get started down here. We had the mower at this point right here, this nice high point, that's three inches. And if we check that out on a, a paved surface like we're on right now, and we low, lowered it down a couple of notches here um, uh, to this point where we'll get a, a good pickup of the grass and what few leaves remain at this time of the year. And we'll recycle like, those grass clippings into the community uh, recycling bins. We're ready to start on that and uh, get going with our mowing. First of all, we're gonna prime the mower here. And then this is an electric start mower. So with a little bit of luck, it should start right up. Well, once you're done with the last mowing for the season, uh, you want to pay attention to the mower that, uh, that you've used and you hope you can use for many more years to come because they are very expensive these days. And a little bit of care will go a long way in, in maintaining this mower. First thing you want to do would be to uh, drain the gas out, get the gas out as, as much as you can uh, by uh, running the mower out, uh, out of gas. Um, that's one way. Another way would be to um, go ahead and actually physically drain the lines yourself, that is not as effective. And then the third way would be to go ahead and add a gas stabilizer to the gas that you want to keep in there. And it's suggested that you get the gas uh, tank filled up with the stabilizer in it and that'll keep the gas fresh and ready to go ahead and go for the uh, next spring, giving you a quicker start and better performance of your engine. One of the last things you want to do would be to get the, um, the blade sharpened and the oil changed for next year. And so as you get rid of the mower or get, get done with your last mowing, take the blade off or you can take it down to a dealer. If you don't want to do the, uh, the change the oil yourself or take the uh, blade off yourself, take it to a local dealer. They will then go ahead and um, uh, remove the blade, change the oil for you, get the thing tuned up for next spring and you'll be able to start it uh, up without any trouble the following spring and have your mower in good shape for that, uh, that growing season. Although it seems ridiculous to be talking about snow removal in late October, it's a good idea to get your snowblower in prep prepared for the oncoming winter months. Now, we don't use a snowblower as often, at least I hope we don't use a snowblower as often as we do our lawnmower, so the snowblower is going to have to have some particular attention paid to it. If it sits all summer and it sits through, say, most of the winter with very little activity, the gas is going to have a tendency to get old and stale, and that's where a gas or a fuel stabilizer would come in handy. So I recommend using that uh, in, your, in your operations. And then certainly, uh, once a season, have the oil changed because during the summer and winter months when it's sitting there, it has a tendency to have some condensation accumulate in the engine. And that, that uh, condensation can dilute the oil and create uh, problems shortening the long, longevity of these, uh, of these uh, wonderful machines. So uh, have them checked up, have them serviced, stabilizer in the uh, 
in the gas line and have the oil changed and uh, be ready for the oncoming winter months that we can all pretty much count on.